engineers in FMCG, what do they really do? How's it guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Zanele. If you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button below. Also remember to press the bell button, that notification button. I'll always notify you every time I upload new content. So interesting question that's just come up is that what do engineers and FMCGs really do? So it's a little close to home for me, so I'm happy to share some of the different things that engineers do in FMCG. The question was really more specific around mechanical engineers and what they do in FMCGs. But what I'll do is I'll generalize it and then I'll try and give some examples of what the different disciplines, especially mechanical engineers, do in um, fast-moving consumer goods companies. So contrary to popular belief, engineers and FMCGs aren't just paper engineers or computer engineers. So these are the ones that we laugh about and say they're always behind their desks. And not only are they limited to maintenance of the machines and operations, but there is a lot more that they can do within FMCGs. So I'll take you through four of the key areas in which an engineer can operate in within an FMCG. So let's start with one of the most common and most obvious areas. So this is in factories. So in factories, you're likely to find your industrial, chemical, electrical, mechanical engineers. And basically what they do are really focused around maintenance of systems and also around operations as well. So it is important that whatever systems that we have put in place, that engineers are there to number one, optimize, to put in place improvement projects. Um, so this might be using your Six Sigma, your world-class manufacturing techniques, your total quality maintenance techniques, even TPM. So this is really around how do you improve what you already have for cost effectiveness, for efficiency improvement, ultimately optimize to stay competitive. One of the other things that is important with engineers, you guys know that your electrical mechanical engineers can obtain their GCC, so your government certificate of competency. So you do find engineers also in functions like safety, but predominantly in maintenance, looking after the maintenance of machinery, ensuring that it's in safe working conditions to ultimately ensure that people remain safe. So a lot of the times in the factory, you do find engineers predominantly focused on improvement and also on maintenance. Another area where you'll find engineers in FMCGs is in projects. So this is where you've got new installations, whether you're building brand new factories, you're installing new pieces of equipment. Even if you're developing and improving on what's already there, you're likely to find projects engineers involved in this. And this can be cross-functional. So you will have a combination between your industrial who will work out the requirements from a cost and efficiency point of view. You'll have your electrical engineers engineers to scope your electrical requirements. You've got your mechanical engineers. Your civil engineers will also come in handy here. In an FMCG that um, invests in core civil engineering or outsources it, ultimately you will need someone who's got the expertise in structural development, in loading, in tension, and obviously ensuring that you've got the right systems and the right structural requirements in place. Even with your wastewater systems, even with your effluent systems, you do ultimately want to consult someone who's got the expertise. So there is also project engineering that you do find in FMCGs, and you also find a lot of your engineers being the project managers and the project delivery managers um, of those particular projects. Other areas where you can find engineers in FMCGs are in research and development. So you will find your chemical engineers obviously developing new product, whether you're in textiles, you're in packaging material, you're producing products for sale, you are needing a person. How I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. The chemical engineers convert chemicals and raw materials into something of value. In this instance as well, you'd find them developing, researching, improving, and also um, ultimately creating new inventions or new products for consumers to use. Also find engineers working in other functions or support functions within an environment of an FMCG. So these include safety functions, your quality functions, your improvement functions as well. So you do actually have a host of engineers that work in number one, um, transforming from quality control into quality assurance, ensuring that you've got legal requirement compliance, and also optimizing the right systems from a safety point of view. Also in improvement projects and also in optimization, you do find them in your Six Sigma and your world-class manufacturing and TPM, like I mentioned earlier. So you do find a host of engineers in there as well. You also find engineers outside of your typical supply chain. You do find engineers in your logistics, especially industrial engineers to optimize the systems and distribution, also with transportation as well. You also find them in procurement where you've got um, chemical engineers that will work with materials, with buying negotiations and all of that. But you also find them outside of this typical supply chain. I've seen engineers that have um, ventured out into finances, into marketing, into customer development and interactions and relations and relationship management with customers. So 
you do also find engineers that venture out out of your core engineering. But if you are looking to stay within your core engineering, um, you definitely do have opportunities to get exposed into hardcore engineering. So you can obtain your GCC, your Government Certificate of Competency for Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, but also your PRH. So this is your Professional Engineering Certification and uh, EXA. So don't be limited to only seeking opportunities in your mining sectors, in your government sector, or in automotive industries. There, there is a vast opportunity to get the right level of exposure, the right level of experience within FMCGs. Remember, without engineers, we won't be able to develop, build, design, maintain the likes of big boilers, your HVAC systems, your transformers that are on site, your chemical processing plants. You won't have a structure, a building from which you can operate with it. Ultimately, regardless of which function or field, or which industry you're looking to work in, there is value in pursuing engineering. Comment below if you work in an FMCG and if you feel you're getting the right exposure as an engineer. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow, and lead for change. Shout.